Welcome back to the King and Shua channel for the CYB community. We're here to show you guys the best playmaker in NB Live 19. We're waiting for NB Live 24, 25. We don't know when it's going to come, but we're going to wait patiently for the best thing to come, which is EA Sports AIDS coming to you for the basketball virtual games. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the best playmaker you can possibly make in NB Live 19. With everything making sense and everything not making sense. We're going to have the weight real low. We're going to have the proficient height. And we're going to show you guys the best dribbles and the best shot. The shot is really for preference, but the best dribbles for that type of person. And I'll be breaking down why certain dribbles are good for certain type of players as well. Because it's really unclear inside the community. Really on the YouTube community of... Um, the entire NBA Live 19. You guys are making sense of it though. A lot of feedback, a lot of likes, a lot of good ideas you guys are bringing inside the community, but along other communities, there's some confusion, uh, possibly because the person that's making the videos or the scripts or whatever they're doing, um, they're not connecting the dots or they're not really clear in their videos, but we'll show you guys how to really break down the playmaker position. And this only is for the wing. Um, I haven't seen it for the point guard position, the shooting guard position, or the uh, power forward position, or the center position. But uh, we'll show you for the wing position because I only seen it in that position when I was looking at it. We'll make a new player right here. And when we're making this new player, it doesn't matter if you want to transform to a female or transform to a male. You can be whatever you want to be. It's okay. Don't worry. You can be whatever you want to be. And right here, I'm making my guy. Um, I'll fix him up later. I'll fix her up later. Whatever you want to be, it don't matter. Let's get to the juice. Let's get to the diagnostics of making this player. So the playmaker position is inside the wing. So let's make a wing person right here and we want to go to the playmaker so i'll do some of the differences between the king archetype and the magic archetype primarily this magic archetype right here uh, perceiving themselves as magic johnson this is really good for more like street tour league 505 from uh, my own perspective right and then the king is really good for three on three on your uh, one on one shoot around court magic is good for your shot off ball dribble and uh, some of your passing but then if you really want to take over or you want to go crazy the king is your best bet but now my whole perspective and all my teachings is really showing you guys how to play together as a unit I don't want you guys going crazy over the place, but at the end of the day, is there a game? Your mommy and daddy bought it, or you bought it, and you're just like, I want to go crazy. Your best bet is the king, and um, or the magic for like more 505 team oriented type of play. All around, I want you guys to really understand that it's really a team sport. It is more of a play your part and make everyone else better around you. So we're gonna make the king for this video, and the king, the best bet for your dribbles is go off of this archetype. So let's go ahead and do king. And now the idea of being really fast and really strong and that type of aspect uh, is to lower all your weight, which makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense in real life basketball, but you wanna lower your weight all the way down. You wanna be as fast as possible, right? So if you're really tall, you're not gonna have that much speed. You we'll wanna have him, he or she, all the way down to six by six so you're six feet six inches right so 87 speed 83 vertical 84 stamina and you're going to be really weak comparing to the game 63 strength so we're not worried about the strength because your forwards are supposed to be that this is a forward but your power forward but your centers should be uh, the strong people and we're going to make a build off of that in the next video so if you guys are liking this as well along with the other videos you've been liking definitely definitely share some of your knowledge share some of your feedback as well along with the likes or uh, for those forward uh, power forward and center type of videos we'll be uh we'll be making this really uh really light and then you can go to 34 so 134 and then it breaks off as you see there you know i'm not really covering it but it's not really a big deal it's really when the numbers change the game is going off the numbers so if you want to look at the little numbers like the the weight and your height as long as your physical skills 
your technical skills, which is your shooting and your free throw, all those skills, as long as they're the number that you want, definitely stay with the height and the weight that you have. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what weight you are. Just look at the skills you have, your physical skills, and your technical skills. So let's make them he or she 130 pounds, right? Make them really interesting and um, don't even increase the height past uh, six seven. You want to be six six, right? So we're six six, 130 pounds. Horrible, <laughs> a horrible, horrible real life build. You will not make any team, any college team, any pro team at all. Trust me, I know. Reconsider doing that. Get your weight up in real life, but in the game, you're good. So let's go ahead and continue. So then, since my player is fast, right? Since I'm a fast player. The idea of being a fast player is to use the idea of fast dribbles. If you're a slow player, your idea is to use slow dribbles, right? It's not about being fast and going crazy all the time, you know? Like, understand the actual game and perspective of basketball, right? You do want to be slow as a big dude, so you want to be really strong to move around your opponent whoever's coming to the lane you might have to protect maybe veer if you're a versatile type of big man but you know i don't want to say too much and throw you off you know but not assuming that intellect is there but um around the other communities it's looking pretty wild but um i'll say this at most your big guys should be slow and your small guys your little small forwards your shooting guards your important guards should be fast right so let's go ahead let's show you guys some of the dribbles that we should be going into let's edit the player we can see that we can go into the icon and then we have the ability to go all the way out and then this is really for like your purposes it depends on how you play right so any type of change you want to take is up to you you can enhance the defense for the on ball or enhance the defense for your shot blocking, right? So definitely take a look at that. Uh, I'm covering the right side, but you guys get the picture, right? The right side is a shot blocking, as I just said. So, and then this is more of a preference thing too. All of this increasing is all preference from what it looks like, all right? With all the other archetypes. Let's go ahead and look at some of your skills. My go-to is, um, your dribbling and your passing. You wanna be able to dribble the right directions at the right times and pass with high efficiency. So you don't wanna be a bad passer and a bad dribbler when you're the playmaker. You wanna be able to dribble really well and pass really well. So go ahead and do the dribbling and the passing as your first. And now let me go ahead and look at some of the animations you guys want. The go-to animations and what I was just saying from before, since this guy is more of a fast type of player, you want the James Harden and the Kyrie Irving. The level one or level two, whichever one you can handle. But definitely look at your, not the LeBron, but uh, if I can find the James Harden right here, go ahead and get the James Harden the James Harden level two. If you can't get that, get the James Harden level one. Or go ahead and get the Kyrie Irving, which is somewhere. All right, so I actually don't see the Kyrie Irving. Make sure you guys definitely try out the James Harden or try out the Magic Johnson. I haven't done the Magic Johnson. I haven't studied it. Hold dribbles, those lad dribbles are uh, really key. I saw a lot of spammers do that online. James Harden or the Magic Johnson. I have more of my LeBron James dribble for my defenders, but you can try any dribble and see which one is best. It's really about you learning and trying out different dribbles. That's the build. That's the idea. I wasn't spending too much time on the look. I was really attacking how the build should be and how the archetype should be. And which archetype should go into if we're playing five on five do magic if we're playing three on three do the king and understand that increasing the height and the speed uh go hand in hand and increasing the weight and increasing the strength go hand in hand so uh don't confuse yourself on that definitely uh just keep it simple uh the height and the weight together and the speed and the strength together as skills so that's how to say in a technical way very uh, high level way and I'm saying a very simple way that's some of the dribble the shot is really up to you you can have any type of shot i have unlocked some of the shots on my other builds the shot is up to you the free throw is up to you as well the layup the layup i will go with a jason tatum or a uh scotty pippen scotty pippen's okay for more slower players really but i will go with a jason tatum for now the dunks i would probably go with street some of the street dunks 
or the LeBron James dunks. I will go with those. Celebrations you can celebrate on your own when you understand the game. Okay, so, <laughs> and I'm here for you guys to understand the game, man, you know? I'm here to show you guys the ways and some of the feedback you guys are giving me as well on what type of videos to do. So, it's really up to you guys to uh, understand and comprehend the information I'm giving you. And yeah, and that's really it. That's some of the animations, the dribbles, the shots, all of the free throws and the dunks. Really not much else to go into. If you guys want me to go into some gameplay that is coming soon along with some of my real life pro player archetype and some of the wing defender pro type we can definitely do some gameplay for sure if you guys want to be added into the gameplay definitely join the discord as well the cyb discord and uh definitely stay in tune with the streams i'm streaming a lot on twitch and uh doing a few videos like this on youtube so definitely be hand in hand on both with notifications subscribe if you haven't and definitely keep up with the channel and uh, if it feels like i miss anything definitely let me know in the comments and i can do another video or just redo the entire video as it is if it's really that important but uh, we really hit home with everything. We went over some of the things of height and weight and the speed and strength and even some of the vertical. Went over the, the king, the magic archetypes and we went over some of the animations that you want. So definitely try it out. It's gonna be a fast player as you see. You wanna also aim, if I can go back to my skill. You wanna also aim for green. So I didn't really perfectly point it out, but if you were to increase your height and then you see that everything's kind of averaged out, you, you see the vertical and the stamina right there, that is a yellow and a light green. Aim for a more green, more of a lime green or a picture perfect green to where you specialize in something. You don't wanna be even out in this game that I see. You know, that's more of a NB Live 18. This is NB Live 19 where you wanna specialize in something. So this is why I'm making these type of videos because you wanna specialize in something, be the best in your position and be able to be hand in hand with your teammates. It's about winning the game, not being the star and the, the main guy, the entertainment show. It's not golf, it's not the circus, it's a basketball game. So if you're there to win games and move on. <laughs> I got players on my team, randoms during my streams and they just really stand there and dribble all the time. And the game goes on for extra 10 minutes. I'm trying to get on to the next game. Try to get on to the next game. We got, we got crack the snort and money to move. So <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke, motherfucker. It's a joke, motherfucker. Come on now, relax. For the CYB community, you guys are growing it. You guys are amazing. Anything else I need to go over, definitely let me know in the comments. Hold on, hold on. Bruh. We forgot one part. Maybe we forgot. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm just saucing. But we got the traits. I worked on the guy a little bit. I wanted to see some of the traits that were useful. And they got the short handles and the spicy dish. Now, some of the ones that I also have here in my other loadout, my loadout too, is the pick and drive and the bullet pass. Now, some of the ones I don't have is the counter strike, which is over here. When performing a dribble, counter, and one on one, defenders will have less time to react and stay in the jostle so make sure you guys are having some of these dribbles on lock when i explained them before have these traits on lock look i need three more to unlock counter strike right and one more that i had in mind a few more actually is an open three and an open two so when you saucing and dashing and dishing and all that when you're wide open you can have an open two or open three so these are the go-to's the counter strike the open three the open two and then over here with the bullet pass, you wanna be able to pass really well, full velocity and the pick and drive and the short dribbles, the short handles and the spicy dish. So definitely have some of those. You can mess with some of the pop star right over here, but uh, not too much. You wanna keep it simple, straight to the point, depending on how you play and how you communicate with your teammates is how you win the game. That's some of the parts that I left out but definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you guys are on the YouTube and on everything else. The community is growing, the CYB community is growing. I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really humble for you guys. And listen, we are going to be the biggest community coming out in YouTube. Come on now, let's go, let's get it. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So we'll be going over some of the power for and the center archetypes and anything else you need, definitely, definitely let me know in the Discord or the YouTube community. So, thank you for watching and take care. I didn't do it. There we go.